This is the song Inchworm. And Inchworm will use the notes G and A. We'll use what's called half notes, which are two beats each, and whole notes, which are four beats each. So the timing, when you, you start your note G, you're going to play G, A, G, A. Those are half notes. But then there are some longer notes. A. And that was, was for four beats. So that takes care of how long you're going to play the notes. But now you're going to need to know what to press to play those notes. I know that you learned the B, the A, and the G on the first page, but let's review. So remember that this in the back is where your left thumb is going to rest. There's a key here that we will use eventually, but right now we're not going to press it. We're going to just let our thumb touch that button. And it would be the, the pad of your finger that touches that. And that's important. You don't want to get your thumb here because then your pointer finger will not be able to reach around to the B key. You're going to need to miss these. Do not touch those as you come around to press the B. I call these the poison keys because when you press, if you let your fingers touch those, they open keys at the top of the saxophone. And that means the air is going to leak out of here instead of coming all the way down past the B key. The further the air travels, the lower the sound is going to go. So you want the air to travel to this key before the air comes out of the saxophone. If it comes out early and touches here, then you're not going to get the sound you wanted. The next key is here. You miss this little tiny key. So your pointer, then your middle finger, and then your ring finger. Your right hand thumb goes right under that hook. And these keys are ready to press but not touching anything right now. Remember to flatten your chin, put your lip onto your bottom teeth, not swallowing your lip, but curl it over the teeth. Your top teeth are going to sit on the mouthpiece. You're going to go about this far onto the mouthpiece and your bottom lip is going to go here. If you do that and your reed is wet, your sound will be this. So we're going to play. Now to make the notes sound different, you could just simply lift your finger but you have to get used to doing something called articulating the air. If I'm blowing out air, my tongue is going to do this. That way it sounds like a new note. It's very clear. I did not stop blowing air. I simply used my tongue to articulate the air. Backing track. Ready? 
Ready? One, two, ready. Let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs>